La 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 Welcome back everyone to <coughs> the Kings of Frisia and your girl Queen Adelinda of Frisia. Yes, yesterday was a very eventful episode. <laughs> we, uh, uh, Carl died in suspicious circumstances. He drank some, some bad wine. Uh, and then Godila, uh, his, his oldest daughter and my, my sister, my half-sister, was murdered uh, on the orders of my uncle, who I'm actually gonna make a special interest, I think. Because otherwise I will forget him. Can we invite him to court? No, I guess not. Maybe with a bit of money. No. Okay. Oh yeah, we uh, we are in a regency, of course. Our regent is Thomas von Babenberg. Thomas von Babenberg. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of... <laughs> I mean, I don't know how, how well it translates to, uh, to you English speakers out there, but I'm trying to do kind of a mock German accent every time I see his name. Thomas von Babenberg, yeah? Wo kommst du her dann, Thomas? Ich komme aus Carinthia, hm? I don't know. <laughs> um, Alright. Yeah. What are we gonna do? We are gonna wait until uh, we come of age. And maybe in the meantime, we can press some claims, some family claims. Uh, I also noticed that... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so uh, my, my heir should, should get a different uh, guardian, although... You know, he's not done, done too badly. He's gregarious, charitable, diligent. And I'm still gonna give him a different guardian. Um, because this guy, the guy that, that was his guardian now, is a yeah, detached priest. So I really don't want him to become that. We can only do courtiers, I guess, because he's my uh, uh, my vessel. Yeah, he's landed. Well, let's do Swanildis then. I hope he doesn't get... Uh, Oh, what's one this uh, German? I don't remember now. Oh well. It's not not super important, but I mean, it would be fun to play as a decent character. And, you know, uh, his mom is in England, so she cannot train him. All right, let's go. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, um, one thing I forgot last episode was about the Duchy of Tuscany. Um, I'm fairly sure, yeah. My my uh, kinsman, who is I think my great uncle, right? Ono. Yeah, my great uncle uh, Ono has a strong claim on the on the Duchess and the Duchy of Tuscany. I think maybe we can press that one this episode. Although we should not forget. Ooh, sixty days. <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> okay, well, forget about that. <laughs> We're gonna raise our troops and our fleets. And we're gonna go to Egypt. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you know I played last last episode on Speed Five a lot because we are. It, it's not it's not too exciting playing as a little kid because you cannot plot. You know you have to do everything like that your regent wants. So that's probably why uh, <laughs> this this went by so fast. But oh well. Uh, okay, yeah, Swan Hill. This oh, she is Dutch. Okay, nice. Yeah, well, fine. That's fine. He can train uh, my uh, my uncle. And she is, uh, she's again, I guess, uh, a martial character. Well, whatever. And uh, my regent? Yeah, she's German. Yeah, I remember. I kind of really want someone who is Dutch. And I think you should have one, someone who is patient. Oh, patient. No, they're all no, diligent. German. Gregarious. Okay, there's a couple of Gregarious. So, diligent and Gregarious, I think, give you the largest chance of uh, being converted to your parents' religion. We could do uh, Ono, my kinsman, yeah, my chancellor, why not? I think he's a better choice than uh, than the, the woman we hired who is German. Sorry, I'm switching around guardians a lot. Uh, yeah, mostly, uh, yeah. I just kind of fi am figuring out still what kind of person I want uh, Adelinde to be. Okay, uh, let's raise the fleets as well. There we go. All right. Uh, Queen Adelinde of Frisia has accepted the call to arms from Pope Victor III, opposing Caliph Ali V. 
due to the clash to join the crusade, Queen Adelinda of Frisia had no other choice. Deus fult, indeed, indeed, let's go guys. Who is our, yeah, Ono is I think our, yeah, Ono the Clueless. Yeah, that makes sense. He's our Chancellor, he's our Guardian, and he's unlanded. So let's go. Let's go to the Holy Land. Deus fult and everything. Um, oh, we, I kind of want some, some family members as commanders. Can we do that? Maybe uh, Ono can be replaced by Wilhelm, whatever, for a while, while we make him a commander. Where is he? Holtfleet? No, he's a terrible commander. Where's Ono? Or is he already in here? Oh, he's already in there. Okay, so I guess you're, you're, you're a holy warrior, Ono. And we are fighting this war for you, so we're definitely gonna have you in. Then Samir, yeah. Oh, he actually became quite a decent uh, leader uh, since we uh, since we got him. He, I think he's, he's our eunuch, right? Yeah. So you can uh, you can join us, and then the I guess the right flank will be a bit weaker. Uh, Bouda and Mayor Flissinger. Are there any better commanders around? Oh, Christopher Flamens. Yeah, why not? The Flamens family has been uh, been helping us out a lot. You know, uh, they, they, Boudewijn, is he still our chancellor? No. Our, our, our chancellor for a long time was Boudewijn Flamens. And then I think also one of the Flamenses was like a, like a ward of one of our family members. So, you know, uh, we're, we're closely allied, our houses are. Oh, I think. <laughs> yeah. They'll arrive in Ponant. Where, where, where are you going? The last time, if you recall, after uh, the last crusade, uh, the Fatimids immediately occupied all of Rome. We kind of want to avoid that now. So I'm gonna first take another sip of coffee. Mm. It's um, what quarter past twelve. I uh, I got out of bed like an hour ago. It, it's gonna be one of those lazy weekends. No plans. Everything is closed from uh, from five to five. Uh, other than like supermarkets and stuff. Oh, here we are. This is, this, oh, these are the Fatimids. 14k. Well, I mean, less troops in Egypt. <laughs> and uh, oh, my beneficiary, Ono Gerolfing, is not healthy enough to be an appropriate beneficiary. What? What happened? Scurvy? Oh. Man, okay, well, he will he will lose that once we are in Egypt, I think. And then we can select him as beneficiary again. People are naive fools, laughing, dancing, and nodding like puppets to the false tune played by priests and noblemen. Charlatans all! I'm, I'm, I'm very well spoken for a seven-year-old girl. It's all pointless. Oh, I guess I'm gonna stay cynical, okay. I mean, it makes some sense, you know. Uh, we, we come from a family that all of all of our family has been murdered for political gain, you know. <laughs> uh, our father has and our sister has, so it would make sense we are a little bit cynical when it comes to that kind of thing. All right, here we go, Holy Land. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send back the ships. Oh, we have quite a bit of money, that's good. All right, Prince Ono. Is your scurvy gone? Not yet. Okay. Now we're gonna join this battle. Oh, we are being attacked already. We are back crusading. It's been it's been quite a while, you know. I think our last crusade was still in the reign of Dirk. I think it was the uh, the, the defense against the uh, the Seljuks. Uh, our uh, aunt was attacked when she was still king of Jerusalem. And I, I call that a crusade for convenience sake. Okay, here we go. Bam. Attack. Well done, guys. We're gonna go to Cairo. There we go. Alright. Duke Hugo of Milan is now of legal age. He became a man with broke. I don't really care about him anymore. Okay. Uh, can Hugo be my beneficiary? Does he still have scurvy? Hugo, do you still... Wait. Christopher Flamens. Okay, I, I guess he's not in this army. That's annoying. Okay. Oh, we are. We're doing pretty well. There are five. I mean, I still don't think we're gonna win, but who knows. 
Did it help? Oh yeah, we're three now. <laughs> well, no, what, how's your health doing? Okay, yeah, yeah, your, your, your scurvy is gone. So I guess we can reselect you as a beneficiary. Yeah, all right. You're a crusader already. And the battlefield terrain master. Okay, let's keep the clock on ticking. Oh, oh man, this is a great coffee. <clears throat> my, uh, my colleague and, and friend, he, uh, he gave me this coffee uh, last week. Because he he was looking for like like a bit of a coffee aficionado, let's say. He was looking uh, for like a very specific brand of coffee, uh, and it was never it, it was not really available in the EU or anywhere really. <laughs> it was like this 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 very specific farm in like Africa, and uh, a fair trade and everything. Uh, and he 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 had it once I think and he loved it, but he, then he could not find it anywhere. But now he found a shop on. On, on an island into the north, I think I think it was the Schelling. So I think it was uh, that's all Leland the Schelling. This one I think, and some islands are missing here actually. But so it's on on a on a on a on, a, on an island. So that's one and a half hours by by ferry to get there. But he uh, he bought it there, and uh, he he was their first customer. So they gave him a bunch of uh, like free coffee, free free. Um, Three other kinds of good coffee as well, and he said, "Yeah, I mean, I, there, there's only two in his household, and I think he's the only one who drinks coffee." So he's like, "Yeah, what am I gonna do with this coffee? It's great coffee, but uh, I cannot keep it forever, and <laughs> I'm not gonna finish it." So would you like it? And I was like, "Yeah, okay." And and I gotta say, it is it is good, man. This is good coffee. I got this like French press. We're at number three, okay. I think we should try to attack this guy. And uh, yeah, it keeps all the coffee, coffee, coffee-y goodness inside. So that's good. <coughs> we lost uh, Mardr Mandrake. Bring the transfer of power, or transfer of power. Hmm, okay. Doesn't look like uh, much has changed. Uh, sort of a gurgling feeling of pressure in your gut. Oh dear. I have diarrhea. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of more scared of it now than I was a couple of episodes ago. Because if you recall, uh, Forrest died of the flu. <laughs> Agunai of Nassau. Oh yeah, yeah. He's been our, uh, our core physician for a long time, but he's never really done anything. Well, let's see. I mean, we are a little kid, right? Should probably be okay. Probably, I should have read that one. Okay. I recently come into the possession of some alchemical ingredients. While I admit I'm intrigued, the wormwood has an eerie color to it. I have no use for things like wormwood and violet. These things are bordering heresy. I don't really mind keeping them around. Violet. Original owner bishop. Some kind of bishop. I don't know why we received them, so let's chuck them away. All right, I think this is a, uh, okay. Is there any place we can attack this 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 from? Crossing of a major river? No, no, so it's all protected by rivers, but I, I still think we're gonna do it. Hopefully someone will join us. Okay, I lost the trade diarrhea, great. Ah, he's joining us, okay, great. All right, how, how are we doing? Where's all now? Christopher Flamens, Samir the Twitchy. He is a good character, man. He was not very good when we received him, I remember. I think he had only had strategists, so no uh, no commander traits. Oh yeah, we're kicking their ass. I mean, they, they don't have any commanders, that's really stupid. I'm going to be the bestest ruler ever when I grow up. Oh great, I'm ambitious. Please don't take it away. Yeah, great. Man. Maybe we will become a decent character, you know. It makes sense that she's ambitious, you know. She. From 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 the age of baby, she uh, she 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 always everyone around her has tried to uh, uh, to increase her power. You know, she 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 started as like a count. She gained the kingdom, and and she's been scheming. Like her her mother is is, is a very good schemer. Uh, so yeah, it, it makes sense that she's ambitious. Okay, 
uh, and let's for win this crusade first, if we can. Oh, we are one, one again. <laughs> I really don't know how this keeps happening. <laughs> surely, surely there's been uh, others who've done more, you know, but apparently not. I don't really don't know how the scoring system works. Twenty percent, great. Okay, we're gonna capture. Uh, oh, we're ninety-nine percent. Ninety-nine percent. But the B word ain't one. Okay, okay. Prince Christoph of Frisia is now legal age. He became the skill tactician. Okay, that's that's not that's not uh, that's fine. Okay, he's a pretty pretty okay character, you know. He's gonna be king of England someday. <laughs> yeah, probably this will be inherited. Yeah, can be inherited by successor. Okay. Or can we already uh, press it? No. Oh, we have our raised army left. This okay. Does that say somewhere? Uh, I think it's diplomatic view, right? Mm -hmm. Can be called to war. No, I guess not. Okay, we almost. Oh, we won the crusade already. Not oh, damn. Well, Uncle, <laughs> let's hope you can. Uh, you can keep the uh, the the kingdom longer than uh, than our aunt. Oh, oh, my ships are still. Okay, let's let's bring our ships back. I, I didn't expect this to go as quick as it did. There we go. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh yeah, I, I forgot. We uh, he already had uh, someone with a claim. That's uh, that's too bad. Oh well, I guess my uh, my uncle still won quite some lands. Let's see, where is he? Oh no, Duke of Ashut. Oh yeah, that's a pretty big chunk of uh, Egyptian land. Yeah. Congrats, Ono, oh, you're no longer uh, landless. <laughs> uh, victorious Crusade. God has granted Queen Adelinda of Frisia victory in the Crusade for Egypt. Caliph Ali V has been beaten at every turn through the war and has finally give, had to give up his holdings in Egypt. Queen Adelinda has granted the new lands to Bishoy Raufit. I really don't understand. Look, he is, he is like... And I, I, watched this, I watched the video back and I was like, who is this guy? You know, he's, he's, he's Scottish. But then, he's, yeah, he's Catholic, but he's also got, like, a, a Arabian families, a family, who are all Scottish, or most of them are. This guy is, is Egyptian. She is also, I think, yeah, Levantine, so they're all Arab. <laughs> what is going on? She's in Constantinople, okay, but she's Shiite. And he's Catholic, and he's... Oh, no, he's not the only Catholic person in his family. And they are also Mirza. So they are... Oh, their, their mother is descended from... Oh, their mother... Okay, so that, that, that explains why they why he has a claim on it. Still, man, that's so weird. Oh, I mean, it explains it in the sense that... <laughs> the only reason he's got a claim is because most of his other family members died. <laughs> okay, well... Interesting, interesting twist. Oh, he's, he's single. Single. Do we have a family member who can marry him? Yeah, Swanhilde, my kinswoman. Or is she, uh, is she a guardian of someone? Uh, ah, whatever. Oh, there. Yeah, my, uh, my region doesn't want it. Okay, well, what are you gonna do? Yeah, it's cruel. Okay. Victorious Crusaders. God has granted Queen Adelinda of Frisia victory in the Crusade for Egypt. Yeah, oh, I already read this one. Praise God. Fatimids are still here. They don't hold much. <laughs> They're not even kings anymore. Are they still? No. Are they still uh, caliphs? Shia, Shia caliphs? No. Hmm. All right. Adelinde Garufing likes a guardian. Yeah, okay, my uh, Ono was my guardian, I guess. Okay, let's find someone else then. Oh, convert to local culture. I can just press a button. 500 prestige, yeah, whatever. I mean, we got, we got 8,000. That's a little bit stupid, <laughs> but whatever. I really want to become Dutch again. Uh, let's see. Suze Rijn van Vlaanderen. She's French, though. She is good. I mean, if we can just convert to local culture, then... Why not, you know? I remember, by the way, we uh, we tried to seduce her. 
as, uh, as Carol. Because she, yeah, she has a weak claim on the Duchy of Flanders. So she, she's supposed to be Dutch, but she turned French, I guess. Okay, oh yeah, but yeah I was going to pick up my, uh, my troops. So we won the crusade and then we... <laughs> 10k. <laughs> we got a huge amount of money. Okay, I guess we can upgrade the bin of them. What do we want? Fancy throne room? Trap door? Royal bedchamber? Golden throne? Yeah, I always like this one because <laughs> it's super expensive as well. <laughs> it's like one prestige. I mean, we're crazy rich, right? And our regent? What, did, what would he want? He's greedy, cruel, patient, gregarious, and envious. Or a custodian torture chamber. <laughs> that sounds like something that, that Thomas would build, you know. Brewery. Dueling room. Yeah, no, I, I think, I think th much as I personally am not a fan of it, I think Thomas would build this torture chamber, so let's do that. <laughs> and let's upgrade. Oh yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's let, let the clock tick and let's upgrade the rest of our holdings as well. Let's uh, upgrade the stables. Let's upgrade the training grounds. Let's upgrade the stables again. Uh, five out of eight. Oh yeah, we got two counties here, right? Who owns this? Oh, it's my heir. Should we just take his land? I mean, on the one hand, yes. On the other hand, I think... No, it actually doesn't matter. I was going to say, I mean, if, if he's our vessel and we press a claim... Uh, if it's lower than our own uh, title, then he will be our vessel, but we, we're, we're going to press the kingdom. So that's not going to happen. Can we? Oh no, we, yeah, we are still not uh, not grown up. We're nine years old. Okay. Man. <laughs> we just casually won this crusade. <laughs> it's a lot easier than I thought. Ah, here we go. Okay. We're going to pick up, well, not Prisono, because Prisono is going to stay here. But uh, our other uh, our other friends, you know, the, the eunuch. Well, I forgot his name. Is it Simeon or something? Samir. And then, oh yeah, Flamence. Uh, Christopher Flamence. We're going to pick them up. As well as, uh, like, 80% of our troops. <laughs> we barely lost anything. Yeah, I know, guys. Come on. <laughs> I cannot... Um, this is not Game of Thrones Season 8, you know. I cannot uh, teleport uh, from uh, from Egypt to uh, to Frisia, you know. I need to use boats. The most illustrious, blah, blah, barely pay their taxes. Eh, I don't care, really. Well, do I care if, uh, if some mayors don't like me? No, I don't. What are they going to do with revolt? I mean... Okay, we're back in Holland. Lower our troops. Uh, okay, I wrote the book in Weimar. I mean, uh, I'm going to keep them for now, because uh, I can. But in the end, I kind of want to, to have my power base still in the Netherlands. My lady, Saladin approaches me with excitement in her eyes. Would you do me, do me the honor of bestowing a nickname upon me, my lady? Oh, she's my guardian. The Festive. The Dove. The Dove, I think, sounds nice for her. The Pest, now. The Dove is cool. Mandrake. I'm the great. Wait, what? <laughs> wow. Okay. And I'm a nine-year-old kid who never really left her, her palace. And my, my great-uncle did all the work. And I get the title and the money and the prestige. Well, okay. It's a good deal, I guess. <laughs> what does this do to our vessel opinion? Oh, everyone hates us. Okay. Welp. <laughs> I think we're going to have to... Uh, raise some opinions. Why does he not like me? Title claim with high crown authority. Can we uh, put him in our council? Yeah, we can make him our chancellor. There you go, sir. You want some money? There you go. Oh. Stupid regent. <laughs> Envious, greed, cruel. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna need you to... Put some front sheets on those TPS reports. <laughs> it's from Office Space. You watched that recently? A great movie. Especially, you know, I have not been... Uh, my message to Orbis has been a success, okay? I've not been 
in the office life for long, but for it's, it's been about four and a half years or so now. So you start to really recognize some of these annoyances, you know. The scene where they they beat up the printer, <laughs> they destroy the printer, they get all emotional, like, oh, die, die, die. Uh, Khalif Abdul Wahab has instituted the, the, the decentralized law. Okay, I don't care. The bin off. Yeah. We're building, I we're building the, the torture chamber, right? Oh, yeah, the, can we upgrade the hospital now? No, still not. When can we go to... Okay, it will, it will be a while. Okay. Because, yeah, that's... If you have a ton of money, that's 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 quite a, a nice thing to do because it's very expensive. But if it's upgraded fully, then you will almost never get epidemics anymore. Unless you're, yeah, you're so unlucky that they spawn, like, here. Sables have been built in Vladingen. All right. We're going to continue on with the barracks. Can we do a coordination? Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so it's been, I think, yeah. Let's see. So it's been uh, ever since the death of... Uh, since 1123, none of us have worn any crowns. Flores never wore a crown, Karl never wore a crown, and Godila never wore a crown. So now I am going to be the first. You know, I needed a crusade to do it. Just like Dirk needed a crusade to cement his uh, his prestige as a, as a king. Um, yeah, of course we're gonna be crowned. Pope Victor, yeah. Can we can we increase crown law? No. Okay. Let's do it. We got plenty of money. I decided to release Jan from prison. Okay, my name is Jan, <laughs> so I'm a little bit. Concerned as to why I, why I was in prison, although I'm not a very wrathful guy, so I guess this is not me. Uh, give me some money, and I will crown you. All right. Extravagant. Yeah, these are uh, no-brainers, you know. Queen Adlinda, I'll be glad to attend your coronation. Very good. Very good. Actually, the climb. Okay, actually, I don't know why it always does this. I don't care. Okay. The King of Navarra. Okay, he's also not going to join. King of Denmark is not going to join. Only a few days remain before I am crowned king before God and all my subjects. My court is filling with distinguished guests. Both vessels and foreign dignitaries come to bear witness to this fundamental moment of my reign. Such a lavish ceremony is a rare spectacle to behold, even amongst royalty. It will never be soon enough. I mean, we've waited for 23 years. We can wait a few more years, eh? This morning a curious visitor came to my court. He's a wandering knight who traveled to Holland after hearing news of my upcoming coronation. He has proclaimed that he wishes to pledge his loyalty to me and protect me from any who would attempt to harm me. He is ready and eager to join the ranks of my bodyguards and shield my life with his. Okay. Barend. Yeah, no, of course, Barend. Oh, you're 22 Marshal. Yeah, you're very welcome, Barend, to join us. In fact, I think I'm going to replace Mayor Hugo with you. <laughs> Pope Victor III approached me tonight to personally inform me of how satisfied he is with the Great Mondo Festivity. Okay. He's, <laughs> he's walking up to a 10-year-old kid. And <laughs> informing, uh, informing her <laughs> how glad he is with the, uh, the ceremony. I'm flattered, I guess. <laughs> uh, it's been a great idea allowing Baron to join my court. He knows so much about fighting. He's told me all sorts of stories about the countless wars he fought in. And has even offered to teach me some of his tricks, if I can spare some time. Yeah, more a chance of Bronny. Yeah, no, definitely. <laughs> no, we're not going with Bronny, I guess. Too bad. I knew before Pope Victor III with all my reverently silent vessels surrounding us. The Pope gives me an encouraging smile as he blesses me and places the royal crown upon my head. As I feel my face turn red, he then proclaims me Queen of Frisia, by grace of God. I am finally and truly queen. I sneak through the dungeons hearing the prisoners pleading for their lives and the coarse laughter from the guards. A knife lay forgotten on the floor. I brought it with me, only to realize in the daylight why this felt so sticky. Okay, I think I don't think I've ever had this event. This is like the Earth Flores emerges from the dungeons, blah 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 <laughs> event. But I've never had it from the from the kids' side, I think. Or maybe I have, but I clicked through it. Ew, blood. Oh, I'm kind. Okay. I'm 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 turning out to be a pretty good character, you know. I'm just hoping that uh, our our main trait is going to be uh, decently high. Can we actually be building a university? Yeah, plenty of money, right? 
Maybe we can build another holding in Holland. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to be able to expand the hospital anytime soon, so why not? We got, uh, we got plenty of money. Now, should we revoke this, this county? I think we should. On the other hand, you see a friend of ours? Okay, okay, I think opinions are starting to turn around a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, okay, the coronation is plus 10. Yeah, that helps. Okay, so we're not as, as hated as we were. That's good. Uh, though some time has passed now since my coronation, the good people of Holland are still in a festive mood. Glad to finally see their queen status be recognized by the church. It would be nice to see my subjects continue to celebrate my rise to the throne if it were not for the fact that they are also using this as an excuse to work less. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Adelinda wouldn't care, and Thomas certainly wouldn't care. So let the rebel have their fun. Uh, I don't know. I, I kinda, I'm kind of growing into liking this, this character, you know. He's ambitious and cynical, but also kind. You know, she, 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 she's a multifaceted uh, character, you know. She's three-dimensional. He's not like uh, like Dr. Evil himself that, uh, that uh, uh, Thomas is. <laughs> Uh, whatever, I don't care. You're not gonna attack me, man. You can keep making claims on my land, but you're not gonna do anything with them, so... You know, either do something or get out. The great celebrations were in the coronation concluded a while ago, but the trade and wealth they have bought to Holland are still lingering. Okay, nice. Bit of money. Augustine has decided to go ahead and use a claim. Okay, whatever. Got them more friends, okay. Stop making claims on my lands, man. You're not gonna attack me. Look how, how much troops I have. I have like 6,000 troops. What are you gonna do? Popo von Zaringen is now known as the ill ruler. Oh, he's the family member of the former... Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, he's... Uh, okay. He's a grandchild of Sigmund the Cruel. I don't think we care about him that much. I think we should... Uh, yeah, we're gonna make... Oh, he's a Bilum. Okay, they are closely closely aligned to, uh, to the girl things, I think. Uh, let's see if we can find a family member here. Because I think, for example, Isentrude, yeah, that's my grandmother. So the, the Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire is my... Uh, well, <laughs> he's very distantly related. He's, he's a second cousin, twice removed, or something like that. He, uh, but he is, he is a family member. I would have held up became a legal age brewing strategist, okay. In the long tradition of uh, martial characters in our family, Duke Egbert uh, has joined. And he, okay, he doesn't hate me anymore. Does he want to be on the council? Yeah, I, I kind of want to keep Barend. He's good. Alright. To Kana, the crew accepted uh, Kaiser Alma uh, the just peace offer, okay. Yeah, so how is our uncle doing in the Holy Land? Oh, there's already a revolt going on. And my uncle is a loyalist. What is the revolt? War against the tyranny of King Milad. Okay. I mean, uh, oh no, you gotta reclaim our family's legacy, you know. We deserve uh, a kingdom in the Holy Land. I better eat with moderation or I'll end up looking like my fat nanny. Fat people are ugly. Oh man. I feel personally attacked. No. <laughs> I'm not I'm not that fat. I'm 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 a little bit overweight, but not not that fat. Uh, thank you for reminding me of my duties and obligations as your vessel. You're right, of course. With foreseeable fruits, okay. Okay, kind, temperate, cynical, ambitious. Okay. Interesting. Interesting character. Twelve years old. Okay, we're almost Forced bloodline. <laughs> could we do that? Yeah. I didn't know you could do that as a kid. I think that's probably a bug. My acquaintance, uh, Prince Bishop Uno of Bethlehem, died. Okay. Now he's in my uh, my aunt's uh, uh, county. How is the the castle coming along? Seventeenth of August. Okay. Barracks have been built in Vladingen. Let's continue building other stuff. Gladding is almost fully upgraded. Let's uh, increase the fortifications a bit. 
improve the relations with uh, some mayor, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think it's good to keep him on the uh, perform statecraft for a while, because uh, vessels really don't like us, and we've lost quite some family members to uh, do plots, so. Uh, the Holy War for Genoa, okay. Oh, he's a Waldensian. Alright. Is he is his country? Okay, I guess it's just him, probably. That's uh, that's uh, convenient for uh, <laughs> for Kaiser Ramari. Yeah. Castle Holding, I finished constructed in Holland. Okay, what, what do they call it? Amsterdam. Okay. So we got Vlaardingen, which is near Rotterdam. It's kind of sort of it's sort of a suburb of Rotterdam nowadays. Then we have Dordrecht. Yeah, that's that's a uh, that's a town sort of on the river here. Then the Bishopric of Haarlem, which is over here, which is a uh, I think, I guess if you've been uh, uh, to Amsterdam, you probably also know Haarlem, because many tourists, I think, also visit Haarlem when they are in the neighborhood, because it's like uh, 30 minutes apart from each other. Uh, Barony of Amsterdam. Okay, we're going to build castle walls. Should we, should we name it after ourselves? Ad Lindenburg or something like that. Your Marshal Barrett has initiated recruitment right Holland. Okay. But this is all uh, Thomas was doing this. It's still uh, still our regent. Although you know we are ambitious, so I guess we are starting to sort of interfere with it a little bit more. Thirteen years old, you know. I would say we're quite precocious, you know, very ambitious and cynical. Uh, Flying. Uh, uh, let's get the militia training ground going. Flying is like our main uh, main fort. See what this is collected a special tithe, okay. Keep has been built in Eiselstein. Let's continue. Okay, I, I think we should try to press some kind of claim, right? Hey, wait, what happened here? Navarra. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's king of England then? Oh, this Mel guy again. Can we? Uh, no. What about, where's our mother? Oh, here. She's the count, uh, Countess of Middlesex, and she uh, she still has a claim on the Kingdom of England. We should overthrow this this duke, man. You should attack England, because we, we will support you, you know. I think together we stand a good chance. Yeah, he should, we can easily take him, even. He's got less than 4k troops. We got like, uh, like 7k, almost. Man, maybe we should just... Yeah, we cannot do it yet, but I think we, <laughs> we should kill our... Uh, our stepmother. Is she our stepmother? No, she's our... Um, what was it again? Oh, she... Uh, yeah, I think she's our former... Yeah, no. No, she's uh, Floris' uh, second wife. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So she's our, our, our sort of step-grandmother. Alright, Middleburg. Let's continue on in Middleburg as well. No, this is this is really good coffee. Is he of Kenoa? Okay, I guess he won. Yeah, he did. Okay, good for him. Uh, what about the Duchy of Tuscany? Oh, we can, can we no longer declare war on it? No. Yeah, I guess I, I think the person with the claim on it is. Uh, yeah, so it, it, it's Duke Ono, who's going to have to press it himself, I think, because he's out of our realm now. Nah, that's fine. Oh, we still have Fenne, the spymaster of Dinia. Can... Oh, she's married to a landed character. Oh, she's married to the Prince of France, right? Yeah. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there for now. Uh, I think, you know, we, we are we are sort of stabilizing our realm a little bit. You know, uh, we are increasing our vessel's opinion of us. We finally got crowned, which is more than we can say for our father and grandfather. Um, so I think we're getting somewhere. I think I like Adelinde. You know, I think um, I think we have a bright future ahead of us, even if it's a little bit slow now. And I think she already proved that uh, Frisia is still a force to be reckoned with. She won the Great Crusade against Egypt. So uh, yeah, let's continue on on that track. And uh, let's see how we can further expand the, uh, the mighty Gerofing dynasty uh, next time. Okay.
拜拜。